hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is placentation placentation is arrangement of ovules within the ovary now the ovules are attached to the ovary by a flattened cushion like structure called the placenta now ovary is the part of carpels according to the number of carpels they are referred as monocarpellary means single carpel bicarpellary two carpels tricarpellary and so on now when the carpels are united it is referred as syncarpels example mustard and tomato when the carpels are free it is referred as apocarpus example lotus and rose present inside the ovary are cavities called the locules now the different types of placentation are marginal basal free central parietal and axial starting with marginal placentation a marginal placentation is a characteristic of family fabaceae that is the pea family this is the most easiest example to remember now in marginal placentation the ovary is always monocarpellary unilocular while the ovules are attached in one or two rows along the ventral suture next the axial placentation axial placentation can be seen in tomato lemon china rose you can remember them as plc This is the characteristic of family Solanaceae and Liliaceae. You can remember the, them as acting so late lily, where A refers to exile, C refers to China rose, T for tomato, so for Solanaceae family, L of late for lemon and lily. is liliaceae now in exile placentation the ovary is polycarpellary means there are many carpels syncarpels the carpels are united multilocular means there are many cavities present in it as you can see in the diagram ovules are attached at the center where the carpels are fused ovules are attached at the center where the carpels are fused next the parietal placentation this is the characteristic of mustard and argimon also known as prickly poppy now in parietal placentation the ovary can be bicarpellary or tricarpellary syncarpels means they are united unilocular even though the ovary is bi or tricarpellary only a single cavity is present and the ovules are attached at the margin where the carpels are fused so here these are the margins where the carpels are fused false septum called replum can be seen you can remember this as people must agree p of people refers to parietal must means mustard agree argimon next is free central example are dianthus and primrose remember this as dp you all know what is dp now in free central the ovary is polycarpellary many carpels syncarpels united unilocular a single cavity is present the ovules develop around the central column this is the central column around which the ovules develop it is just like an exile placentation in which there is no septa and last the basal placentation which is the characteristic of family asteraceae that is your sunflower family so the examples are sunflower and marigold 
the ovary in this case is bicarpillary that is two carpels are present which are united syncarpus a single cavity that is unilocular and even a single ovule is present which is attached to the base of the ovary so this is basal placentation thank you thank you for watching Thank you.